Game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city turned. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What'd I just say? Drop it. I won't do anything. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, look. Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want to do? Beat some sense into him. That don't work. Every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Sus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the Mox? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity, classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside this is world? A club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you mercs. You do this for fun, talking around in circles. I'm trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure I took a risk. 
We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Excuse me? I came here with a simple question. You're the one making me desperate if I am. Maybe instead of judging, you could just tell me where she is. All right, enough. Get lost. You care so much. Find clouds. Look there. And where's clouds? Sig case on my desk's at the address. Just take it and go. Megat's hour. Luxurious. What's clouds? A dollhouse. But can't say I like your chances if you don't know that much. Read the streets. Evelyn's there. You know this. Or are you guessing? Saw it in the tarot. Now ghost before I call the girls. Hold on, a dollhouse? Evelyn a regular there? Or a drone? Closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. What? No, pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. Got any biz? Call me. Aku Akata, the Lady of Westbrook Estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts for Sandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. I see the only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. I am not getting. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brain dead dude drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. 
So having a grand old time. Arasaka and the Tiger Claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take the blow up of the all. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? So how's this all work? An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure, you never get what you expect. Consider my interest piqued. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I'm not a customer. Well, all the more reason to be excited. There's a first time for everyone at Clouds. It's no reason to dawdle. All you need to do is jack in. We'll create your personal profile, and you'll be good to go. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal, or...? Who can say what is normal? 
You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? I think an angel looks good. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Angel awaits you in booth six. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Clouds Go eat is a one dick, of the Johnny. safest places in all of Night City. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deep. Vincent, right? I'm Angel. Your Angel. It's V. Just V. Only people I know real well get to use my real name. But we'll get to know each other well in no time, honey. Sure, why not? Do what you do best. I know that you're dying. Listen, I'm looking for someone who worked here. Evelyn Parker. Know her? Know where she is? You must see the big picture. You focus too much on details, minor ones, like Evelyn. Please don't act like you know me. I just want some answers. But are you asking the right questions? How can you change what has already happened? Got only one right question now, the one I asked. Where's Evelyn Parker? Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was she last here? You know anything? These are questions to which you'll find the answers on your own. What did you mean, happened? Know something I don't? What happened to you? What you keep inside and never reveal to anyone? And that is... Come now. You know. Trusted someone, and they fucked me over. The end. But you don't expect any good of people. <sighs> Not anymore, I don't. You wish to leave something behind, a piece of yourself. That's why this all began. You wish to be remembered. Yeah, wanted to reach the top, be someone. Still do. Seems like that might not happen anymore. Still, if I gotta die, I wanna go down in history. Fuck it, even a footnote would do. And after that? Do you think death is a disappearing act followed by exactly nothing? People I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just some stranger's voice in my own body. Yapping away. Mm, no longer part of the world. You will still have an impact there. So you believe death is not the end after all. Reassuring. Rather not think that one day it'll all disappear. That I'll be gone and everything else will be biz as usual. I wonder what I'll feel. What I'll think. If I'll even do either. Can you picture it? No. 
And that's, I guess, why I'm looking for some kind of explanation. They're out there. So, where do we go from here? This is the part where I tell you what you must do. Oh, uh, okay. Be my guest. You've never backed out from anything, so don't stop now. Not one step backwards. In this city, people die on their way to the corner store for a scop pop. But that threat's never stopped you. You dive into the middle of it all. Always have. Things are moving way too fast. Around me, without me. I... I can't keep up. A minor delusion. The truth is, we and our paths are braided. Never-ending. Ever-transforming. Not being, but becoming. And what's happening inside you, it could change the world. Listen, V. Never look back. If you must kill, kill. If you must burn all the world to the ground, then let it burn. Okay? Thanks. For this. I... I don't want to go out there. No one ever does. But eventually, we all must. Samurai. What? What happened? You interrupted the session? Did I do something wrong? W were you not satisfied? Had all kinds of things going on in my head lately. This was... different. Refreshing. Yes, that is what we do at Clouds. Think I get why people come here. Come back. But I came for something else. Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Wait just a sec. That's not how this works. You can't ask me about the dollhouse or anything like that. I could get in serious trouble. Go. Please, just go. Answer the question. Do it. And then you can get back to whatever it is you do. Here's what I don't do. Spill to any rando who walks in here. How about those good looks of yours? Be ashamed if they dip below club standards. Wonder what happens to a doll that suddenly goes ugly. Now, Evelyn Parker. Where is she? There was an... incident with a client. I don't know the specifics. One doesn't ask about these things around here. Tom might know. He and Evelyn were close. Go ask him. And please leave me alone. This incident with the client. What happened? Nobody saw. Nobody knew. Who attacked first. It was all a mystery. Then they just buried it. No more questions. Not another peep about it anywhere from anyone. Where'd it happen? In her booth. Number? Eleven. Booth eleven occupied now. No, it's been... out of order since... You're gonna help me. Need to get into that booth. Why? What for? Not your biz. Can you open it or not? I can, but that's it. Won't answer any more questions. Tom knows something. Go bother him. Tom, who's he? Friend of Evelyn's. Wasn't a free moment they weren't together. Where'll I find him? He's a doll here. Works the VIP area, booth two. Thanks. Shh. Don't ask for me again. Ever.
Let's take a look, shall we? Blood. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. this one who flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. Not bad. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Dog, you won't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. We're gonna have to escort you outside. 